Alright, today we're looking at 1 Nephi chapter 8, verse 19. And I beheld a rod of iron and extended along the bank of the river and led to the tree by which I stood. We're going to be looking at what is the rod of iron. We read in scripture that the rod of iron represents the word of God. Nephi tells his brothers that the iron rod is the word of God. We sing that in our primary songs. And it's absolutely true. I'm not here to say that that is not a symbol of the iron rod is the word of God or the scriptures. As we kind of take the next step in understanding the meaning of it. I just want to introduce some new ideas to you and how this fits within the temple context that we are reading in Lehi's vision. The rod of iron as a metaphor for the scriptures is common in Latter-day Saint writings. Of the 625 references to rod and iron in Gospel Link, nearly all refer to the iron rod as equivalent to the scriptures. As mentioned before, we get that equivalent or we get that meaning from Nephi calling the iron rod the word of God. This usage is canonized in modern scripture via the 8th article of faith. We believe the Bible to be the word of God. As far as it is translated correctly, we also believe the Book of Mormon to be the Word of God. Here, Word of God equals Bible and Book of Mormon. See also Doctrine and Covenants 1926. Remember that Nephi also equated the Word of God with the rod of iron. So we know that it means the, the Word of God, according to Nephi. In verse Nephi 15, 24, he said, And they said unto me, What meaneth the rod of iron, which our father saw, that led to the tree? And Nephi said unto them, That it was the Word of God. And whoso would hearken unto the word of God, etc. So Nephi explicitly defines it to his brothers. The iron rod means the word of God. But what did the word of God mean to Nephi when he told that to his brothers? Now Nephi wouldn't have had these New Testament references, but the writers of these New Testament references would have had an understanding of ancient Hebrew tradition and wordplay. Every one of these verses in the New Testament equate the word of God to Christ. Romans 10, 17, Hebrews 4, 12, 11 and 3, 1 Peter 1, 23, 2 Peter 3, 5, Revelations 1, 2, and 19, 13. And then we have the famous John verse, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So to the New Testament authors, what did the Word of God mean? The Word of God meant Christ himself. If we were to understand the rod of iron as both the temple, or both the scriptural definition of Christ, and also our modern translation definition of being the words of the prophets in Holy Scripture. How does this fit in when we are reading Lehi's vision as a temple text? Well, let's look at this. Let's step back and take a broader view of this. Lehi sees a guide, who is Christ, dressed in white, ready to be his guide or escort through the ordinance. The guide leads Lehi through a three-part space. is then referred to as the iron rod, which leads to the Holy of Holies. So he originally has a guide in the form of Christ, and then his guide becomes an iron rod, which leads him all the way through the temple to the Holy of Holies. When the escort disappears, the iron rod appears. And finally, and most interesting, for those who have ears to hear, the people trying to reach the final room in the ordinance, or the temple, are mentioned to have grasped or held or clinged to the iron rod on four different occasions. On four different occasions, do the patrons of this ordinance reach out and grasp Christ on their way to the Holy of Holies. 